All right, so how's it going, guys? We have something cool. We have the Fusion Strike Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. What I'm going to say right now is I love, I love, I love the light blue and the pink. It looks very nice. Um, Let's get to it. I don't know. Someone tried to cut it. At the top, I didn't really cut that. I don't even. I didn't even notice that. Oh well. Let's open this up. See what's inside. Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Box from the Pokemon Center. I think a whole case of these is like four. Oh man, it kind of ripped at the top. Same thing. It has all the arts in it. Kind of dinged up. As you can see. Now the thing I don't like about this and i think it's very it wasn't really done well all right look at that and then look at this it's practically practically the same i wish this was a light blue color or something i know i wish the regular one was light blue and then this one would be purple it looked nice but i feel like they just went with the same design I mean, what am I saying? It's the same for like evolving, well, evolving skies and fusion sh and chilling rain. Ah, ah, what am I saying? But yeah, I, I wish it was different colors. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. But I do like that had one had blue packaging in it. And this one we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Do I get more sleeves in this? What? That's that's a part of the deal. You get more sleeves. That's interesting. Hold on, let me see this real quick. Did I really just get more sleeves? Oh, I forgot the little booklet thing you always get. Apparently, you do get extra sleeves. Not bad. So we got. Oh. Should not show that. Dang it. <laughs> so we got Genesec and Mew. Which is the, the have one that's like on the regular UTV. So yeah, these are all three sleeves right here. So the blue one's much bigger. Zoomed in and this one's zoomed out a little bit more. And then you get Genesec. So I got let me lower this down a bit. I didn't know it was like that. So yeah. Your light blue, purple, purple pink. Yeah, I mean, two sleeves in, in one. I, I really miss the metallic dice. I feel like that was a nice addition. And you can see here, same dice. Nothing special right there. So let me put you guys right over here, actually. Underneath the tripod. And then the same dividers, is that correct? No, it's not. Light blue, I mean, the same in the front side. But wait, they are the same. What? I'm tripping. Never mind. They're the same dividers. That they'd be different. You get a, a Mew coin, a jumbo Mew coin. I like how they're going for like big coins now. Looks pretty nice. Then you get the same stuff. If there's no more fairy Pokemon, why is fairy energy being printed? I, I noticed that like a day ago. No, like a month ago when I was like looking through other things. And I was like, why is there fairy energy? This shouldn't exist anymore. Honestly, all right, we're going to compare the energy. I don't even know if that's the, the same era energy design. Okay, we're going to go with Mew. Yeah, why is fairy energy still here? I thought they did away with it. Or maybe that's a hint. Maybe they're like, we're still going to have fairy energy, but soon. Because like when they did dragon types, when dragon types came back, I thought that was dope. Okay, we have a metal energy, Zorwalk, Pimporm. Metapod, Toxel, Totodile, Beniri, Cloudpus, Tynamo, Schoolboy, and a Gradent V for alternate art. Yo. This Pokemon's annoying in Pokemon Unite. But still, yo. That is our first. That's my first alternate art from the set. Our first big hit in Fusion Strike. 
I always knew I was going to get him. He's not, I, I'm, I, if I recall, he's not the most expensive alternate art. But I don't care. It's an alternate art. <sighs> Still, that's, if he's like 10 bucks or 5 bucks, I'm going to buy a couple more. Berserker. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the energy. Are they the same? Yeah, they are. Okay. thought they were different. Berserker. Fusion Strike Energy. Elisa Sparkle. Clapus. Tynamo, Zorora, Shelder, Caterpie, Graveler, Toxicity V. I mean, Toxicity, uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Uh, Hollow. Dang, I'm having like, can't remember properly. I'm still in shock. I got that Redent V alternate art. We have Darkness Energy, Schoolgirl, Chili, uh, Salian, and Cress. Capajara, Menke, Crab Launcher, Growlithe, Stuffle, Sigilith, Charger Bug, Toxicroak, Non Hollow. Schoolgirl, Schoolboy, who is it? This is like a third one of Ishana, right? That's like the trio of this set, if I recall. Dang, we got our an old tart. Um, that's crazy. Dunsparce, Cramomatic, Eldegoss, Stuffle, Sigilyph, Toxel, Totodile, Beniri, Pampor, and Kangaskhan. Not hollow. Honestly, this would be looking like a cool hollow. I wish that was hollow. See, like some arts deserve to be hollows, and there's some that don't. We have Electric Energy, Fusion Strike Energy, Turnator, whoa, uh, Punkamuk, Galarian Corsula, Corfish, Vulpix, Chansey, Galarian Zigzagoon, Melmetal, and uh, Electros. Is Melmetal V Max? Has that, is that, has there been a card? Has that card ever released? I don't remember if Mobchamp V Max was ever released. Who else are we missing? We're missing, uh, Kingler V Max. I mean, there's a lot of cards, honestly. I feel like they don't have a V Max. I'm just noticing that right now. Quick Ball. Who's, what Pokemon is that? Is that even a Pokemon in the background? Sharpedo. Helio Disc. Helio Disc. Chansey. Galarian Zigzagoon. Mankey. Car Launcher. Growlithe. Alyssa Sparkle. And a Crabominal V. Psychic Energy, Gliscor, Center Scorch, Bug Catcher, Jigglypuff, Durant, Pansier, Minimum, Boltoy, Caterpie, Acelagor, Non Hollow. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We only got like three hits off this. I mean, but still, a full art, alternate art? That's crazy. Ah. Uh, we have a Skaters Park, Frostmoth, Ninetales, Minimum, Ball Toy, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, Volpix, Grim Snarl, and Galarian Obstagoon. That reminds me of Champion's Path. I've only opened like five packs of that set. I couldn't really open Champions Pass like that. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, the amount, the hype was too real. It was like so competitive. I was like, bro, y'all buying everything. Lumpany, Hariyama, Breloom, Shinx, Shelmint, Drillbur, Bumbly, Mudkip, Skarmory, and a Butterfree Non Hollow. All right. Last pack. I don't believe in last pack magic. I don't know why people say that. It's non existent, I feel like. I guess it's just to get people's hyped up. 
Delaney Martin, Falcons, Simi Sage, Muna, Meowth, Mero, Helio Pite, Wulu, Snom, and a Grim Snarl Hollow. So overall, I mean, they, the Pokemon Center did us well. Gave us a V alternate art, one V card, and like four hollows. Hey, I'm not complaining. The highlight of my day is right here. Looks very nice. Honestly, this looks very, very clean. God damn. Look at that. It looks so clean, bro. Kind of off centered at the back a little bit. But look at the front. Let me don't tell me. This is like a sexy looking card right here. It looks very clean. Very clean cut. Very I don't know. When Pokemon, you know, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but like when a Pokemon cuts a card perfectly nice and you just like this looks sexy. And then like compared to some cards, you're like, ah, oh, this is kind of off center. That card looks clean. Oh god, that card looks very clean, man. I don't even care if it's it's the I think that is the cheapest alternate art in the set, but like it looks so it just looks well cut, well everything, huh? Oh another thing. Why do why do some of these cards not say Peggy 7? Well, I guess because the online. But still, I remember the I don't know if you guys remember watching game chillers, and they're like Peggy 16, Peggy 17, Peggy 15, Peggy 12, or whatever. All right, so what do we have here? We have one of each. We have like three Boutland. Ah, it's, how many packs? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Are people still going crazy over like the Pokemon Center Chilling Rain um, air boxes? So this has eight packs. I remember. People selling that like crazy. Man, people try to make a buck off of anything in Pokemon. It's just look I'm just looking back, recapping on everything that I witnessed. Sydney, Battle Pass VIP, Graveler, Snubble, Geodude, Sizzlipede, Klefki. I haven't seen this card in forever. That Pokemon. Finally, I see him. Spongy gloves and a Gorbis. There's a bunch of gloves in this. In Chilling Rain, there's like, how many types of gloves? There's like four, five? I don't even know, but it's some spongy gloves. All right, we have Energy, Farewell Bell, Lumpany, Hariyama, Mantine, Grubbin, Rotom, Smurgle, Carvana, Grubbin, Reverse, and a Mew V. That is our first hit of this ETB. So we have uh, Electric Energy, Marsh Thumb, Cross Cyber, Semi Sage, Mankey, Krogunk, Pansier, Gumi, Ericuda, Falcons, and a Celebi Full Art. Kind of off centered um, from this side to this side or whatever, but like, whoa. My second Full Art. Honestly, this might be Battle Styles all over again. Our battle styles was pulling off full arts left and right, but like fusion strike, nah, V. That's amazing. I can't believe I just got that card. Honestly, I thought that card would be pretty expensive because Celebi is a pretty popular Pokemon. Um, if you think it's not, I don't know where have you been at for the last couple 25 years, no, 20 years of Pokemon, but. I was really surprised that this card is going for like 30 bucks. Oh, the one I saw it was 30 bucks. It should be higher because it's Celebi. And you have Mew, Glyscore, Mandibuzz, Nine. That's a that's like a Johto type Nine Tails right there. Makuhita, Pampor, Suado, Skarmory, Jinx, Yvelto. I feel like 
feel like I've seen this Yveltar heart. I feel like all Yveltar heart looks the same. And I feel like I've seen this before in the Cinderace V. So we just got two full arts. That, like, what? That's crazy. All right. So we got here. We got Water Energy, Sand Slash, Suave Bloom, Caramomatic, Clopus, Tynamo, Sorora, Shelter, Caterpie, Phantom, and a Kangaskong non hollow. All right. Darkness Energy, Power Tablet, Glaring Darmanitan, Falcons, Chudo, Volbe, Dupider. Meowth, Onyx, Smurgle, and a Seligor non hollow. But I'm not gonna lie to you, this Shavelto art looks pretty dope though. Is this a hollow in this set? I hope it is. Honestly, I should probably look at the booklet again. It tells me. Instead of asking like that dumb question, is this a hollow? Is this not a hollow? We have Fighting Energy, Quatzer, Spongy Gloves, Corvus Squire, Stuffle, Sigalith, Toxel, Totodile, Veneery, Cloister, and a Butterfree Hollow. Fire Energy, Luxio, Metapod, Persian, Persian, Kufant, Gligar, Slugma, Skitty, Falcons, Macargo, Toxicroak. All right. Down to like the last two packs. All right, I can't complain. Two, four, two alternate arts in the same video. That's, that's wild. I thought I was going to get like a, like a gold card or, or a full art. Well, Psychic Energy, Nine Tails, Farewell Bell, Lumpany, Growlithe, Stuffle, Sigilith, Toxel, Totodile, Land Corsola, and a Butterfree, Non Hollow. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, last pack. I'm going to sleeve these guys up immediately after this video is done. Cause I keep my sleeves in like a, it's weird, in like an air sealed thing, whatever. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's in a container with those silicone pouches that collect moisture and stuff and all this other. I'm very protective of my cars, all right? Shauna, Victini, Impidimp, Snom, Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, semi Poor, and a Clado Non Hollow. Let's take a look back memory lane and show you guys what I got. So we got one, two, two, one. So overall, we got like one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six um, hollows. We have three regular V cards. And we got two alternate arts. Credant and Celebi V. Amazing. Gorgeous. I know this is not centered properly. Who cares? Still, V cards, alternate V cards are amazing to get. I don't care if they're the most expensive ones. Gorgeous. Um, I really, I can't believe that Credant. I know it's not worth a lot, but like, let me show you guys again. Look how clean this looks. It's like the most cleanest card I've ever received from Pokemon. There are some cards I've ever seen clean, but that looks clean, clean. Like, that looks fresh off the press, man. It's not pack fresh. Also, I'm going to go on, like, on, a, on a rant on one video because people be be saying, I still can't get over the fact people say pack fresh means it's good condition. Um, 
there's examples of, of not packed fresh or whatever. But yeah, got three Butterfree's. Not bad. I actually like this Butterfree art. It looks well. Um, I feel like these two cards, these two hollows have been in, they look very similar to other, their other uh, hollow counterparts in other sets. Um, this one looks basic. These two look nice. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.